Jeep says two-thirds of all compass cells will be fitted with this engine in one of two outputs, the other being 134 bhp. It is an inline four supplied by Mercedes and developed for the compass, but don't expect Merc levels of refinement, it's clattery at idle and intrusive when pushed hard through the six-speed manual. The petrol units are variations on Chrysler's world engines, and are available in 2.0 or 2.4 liter capacities, the former with a 5-speed manual and the latter with a CVT auto. Either way, they're edge cases as far as the percentage of sales go. The 161 bhp 2.2 and the 2.4 petrol engines both feature an active 4-wheel drive system with a locking mode power is shifted from front to rear using an electronically controlled clutch. The 2.0-liter petrol is offered only in a front-wheel drive configuration. The 2.4-liter as four-wheel drive only and 2.2 models are available in both. There are soft-touch plastics on the doors and center cubby, but the rest of the fascia feels low-rent and is easily scratched, giving a general impression of mediocre material quality. There's plenty of head and leg room for adults in the back. The Compass carries a new grille, although the trademark 7 slat arrangement remains. The headlights, bonnet and front bumper are also new, and get a more upmarket, expensive look.